Hello y'all, in this video, which could be the start of a series, I don't know, we are playing the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, North America Divided. North America Divided takes place in a world where the United States, following the Great Depression, essentially collapsed. After that, somehow Canada and Mexico dissolved as countries, and so they're broken apart like the USA is. We're going to play as the Republic of California. It is led by Frank Miriam, who in real life was the governor of California, from mid-1934 until early 1939. Moving on from that, our ruling ideology is democratic, and the brief history section for California goes like this. With Hoover not doing much to assist any state during the Great Depression, which only angered the American West, and they finally said enough was enough, under the leadership of California, the majority of the Western states were the first to inform informally leave the Union. This was done under the guise that Western America could still work together under California's banner. However, the depression worsened and with it many western states began to succumb to even greater hardships. We still hold an alliance apparently with Nevada, Arizona, and Oregon. President Miriam is currently planning several economic stimulus plans, but with the recent election coming up it is unsure rather these plans will come to fruition. For now, the western bear slumbers. We have begun. Let's take a look at our national spirits. We have Dust Bowl Migration Crisis, part people, partition, military. I know what the word says. I'm just not going to say it for the sake of YouTube demonetizing the video. Racial people partition, the Great Depression, and Californian identity. And we have the Republican Party in charge of the country, and their ideology is democratic. And Frank Merriam, of course, is the leader. He has the traits rearmor, conservative guarantee, and staunch constitutionalist. In our military, we have 10 divisions, 7 infantry. Well, in the army, we have 10 divisions, 7 are infantry, 2 are mountaineers, and 1 is marines. Navy, we have a navy? Yes, we do have a navy. We have a few battleships, destroyers, some marines, and one aircraft carrier. What's the aircraft carrier, I wonder? What is it? We have the CNA Mojave Bend, the California Navy. I don't know what the CNA stands for, California Navy something. And we have an Air Force, probably, yes, tactical, ta the first tactical bomber wing and some fighters. That's what we have for the Air Force. Now let's go to the research. Let's do support weapons, do support weapons and basic machine tools and construction one. Actually, no, let's do, instead of getting basic support weapons, let's get electronic mechanical engineering. Also, I noticed, I think this mod switches around the infantry part of the research technology tree a little bit. We have a area of the tree dedicated to bicycle infantry. And with that done, with our research started, let's get some civilian factories constructed. We only have one at this time, I guess, due to the Great Depression taking place. Okay, free dockyards, free factories. Let's get a lot of guns. What do we have for our infantry templates? What do they need? I mean, what am I doing? What do they use? The California Miniman, that's our main infantry template. We also have the Mountaineers. California Rangers, they need artillery and support equipment. Yeah, artillery and support equipment, as well as guns. That's what we need to produce. And let's go back to production. Make some artillery and support equipment. Let's get one train started. Actually, two trains. We'll do that. Make a little bit of support equipment now. And make some artillery. And that's going to be what our factories are going to be doing for the time being. And we're going to have nine factories on guns, two on trains, two on support equipment, and two on artillery. Free dockyards, I forgot about them almost. Let's do some convoys, because honestly, we're in the western part of the former United States. We don't really have to worry about any naval wars. We have an aircraft carrier and battleships, we're crying out loud. We should dominate anything we run into. And the focus tree, let's do maintain the Western Union. We're going to have first major election take place. Unassigned divisions. Do we have any unique generals or commanders, I wonder? And do we? Yes, we do. Quite a few, actually. We have George S. Patton. That doesn't look like Patton, but I'll take him. Merritt, Burton, Curtis, Albert, Jesse, Boley, Ray Robinson, Ronald Reagan is here, and Jimmy Doolittle. Okay, let's have General Patton lead some troops. There we are. He's going to lead our army. And we have some... We have no field marshal. Whatever. We'll just have to make do with our units for now. This general... This army led by... George Patton. And let's border Nevada. That's what they're going to do for the time being. Also train. Exercise. Do some exercises near the border we have with Nevada. No divisions in basic training. Let's try to train some California Minutemen. Get at least a few more divisions there. And I do like the fact that these divisions seem to have unique names. It's a pretty nice touch. 
I like when mods do stuff like that to give countries unique flavor. We have low manpower. That's not too big of an issue. Do we have any problems here? Forming the Pacific states. Okay, well, not gonna, we're not going to worry about that too much. But yeah, the western reaches of America and Canada have long shared a common culture, identity, history, identity and history has been the dream of many to see the a united Pacific nation now that we have brought the west coast under our control. Blah, blah, blah. Let's not worry about that. And instead, we're just going to unpause now and not worry about the... Well, we do have some economic policy stuff. We organize the railway system, disappear uh, supply hubs, and commandeer civilian trains. We'll lose some space stability if we commandeer civilian trains. But let's not worry about that, though. We don't really need to commandeer any trains at this time, and our divisions are exercising to get us military experience. We're also building some factories and maintain a Western Union. Union is a 70-day long focus. We will have the first major election, and by doing maintain a Western Union, we're going to be locked out of the fascist, well, we're going to be locked out of the Disney, Walt Disney path and the George Patton path of the Republic of California focus tree. And after we do maintain a Western Union, we'll decide what we do next. We'll probably end up doing anti-establishment and see where we go from there. But maintain a Western Union is going to be done quite soon. Well, about less than 40 days at this point. World tension just went up. What was the cause of that? Ohio announcement of the Greater Ohio Plan. Ohio is up to something in the Midwest, so it seems. And we're waiting for this focus to get done to have our election. Frank Miriam may go out the door possibly if he loses the election and our units are still exercising like they should we have no military experience yet at least they'll be doing but they'll get some eventually we are getting 0 .0, 0 0.014 army exp a day it's going to take a while to even get to one but it's better than nothing i reckon maintain a western union has less than 10 days now that's going to be done and can we justify on nevada i want to know if we can do that or not no we can't we're democratic i'm not surprised we can't we can't really justify anyone this time due to our ruling ideology but the first major election is done let's have Gibbs Sinclair shot let's go with that and that is done we're now communist and we're led by Upton Sinclair historically Sinclair was an American writer and political activist who tried to run for governor of California in 1934 with the Democratic Party he was also very big into socialism and ran for Congress in 1920 and 1920 un 1922 unsuccessfully as a nominee of the Socialist Party. He is one of the USA's early democratic socialists, but we are communists now. We have a new flag. We're called the Socialist Republic of California. And since we're communists, we don't gotta worry about having high world tension to justify at this point. So once we get more political power, we will justify a war goal on the Republic of Nevada. And that's gonna be done. And the ruling party of California is now the EPIC. Well, it's called EPIC. It means in poverty in California. And that was something in real life. I think Upton Sinclair set it up to try and get over the Great Depression. I don't think it really succeeded, or it may have. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, to focus the tree, let's do unionization, and then we'll do labor reform, possibly, and go from there. And we've unpaused, and we've got to wait to get enough political power to start justifying on Nevada. We will expand into them when we can. It will take us a while to get the political power we need because we're only getting 0.17 political power a day due to unionization being done, our stability being low, and Great Depression as a national spirit giving us 0. Minus 0 0.065 political power a day. Electronic mechan mechanical engineering is done. Let's start mechanical computing, and that will be done in about 200 some days approximately. And that's all right. So we're keeping an eye on Nevada. We're probably going to march on Nevada and into maybe Arizona, and then we'll go from there. I don't know if we'll attack Oregon or, Oregon or not. We may go for them, not entirely sure. But unionization will be done in a little bit. And what else will we have after that? We'll do labor reform, we'll do Old LA, then Farmers Collective, which will give us a national spirit, and then a more perfect union, which will get rid of a national spirit that doesn't really help us at all. Well, I don't think it does anyway. So unionization is done. And, well, it's nearly done. 56 day long focus, but it's done now. We got some political power out of that. Let's start justifying on Nevada now. They are ideologically democratic, and hopefully with the world tension not being so high, they won't try to join any factions, although I'm not sure if they exist. We have to modify Office Core. Modify Office Core, click to add a theorist. 
and let's get superior firepower doctrine theorist guy that will give us cheaper prices there the second red river war and that's going on in texas and louisiana and texas is fighting oklahoma and louisiana at the same time they're fighting on two fronts texas is led by james alfred alred oklahoma is led by william bill alfalfa bill alfalfa murray and huey long leads arizona so bill murray and huey long have teamed up to take on texas concentrated industry and a research tree we're going to do that now labor reform is done and let's do old la and we'll get from this we'll get some popularity the popularity for progressivism will go up and also well there's a war in mexico we got a notification about that we'll get more building slots in ventura and in the mojave desert and i don't know why we get progressivism i mean i'm not complaining but it's just interesting because obviously if upton sinclair is a pseudo well he has he's communist ideologically speaking Progressivism is just sort of there as a ideology for California. And I just noticed this, but Upton Sinclair has the leader traits, dislikes Texas, and pseudo-socialist. I'm not sure if they're really going to be, they don't really do anything, they're just sort of cosmetic, I suppose. And this focus will be done in less than, what, 30 days at this point? Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so how long will this take for this justification? We can go to war with Nevada by early 1937. And then after that, we're going to justify on Arizona, which is non-aligned. Then maybe go after someone else. Got to think about that. The state of the church declared war under law. Nacion Federal and Hacientas. That's some, yeah, there's some wars in Mexico at this time. Who, like I said before, at the start of this video, is broken up like the USA. You can see all the different independent states down there. And Canada also is broken apart themselves. They even have well, they have the Northwest Territories, Alaska's up there, Yukon Territory. And also in this mod is Greenland, which is controlled by the King of Denmark. And that's what's going on up there in the distant northeast. Let's do Excavation 1 in the Tech Tree. We're doing a lot of industrial technology research just to get it done. We'll do support weapons very soon. Old LA is nearly finished. we got less than six days now. Well, we do now. And once that's done, we're going to do Farmers Collective to get a national spirit to give us a higher resource gain efficiency and higher monthly population gain. And that's going to be done. It is July 1936. We have a few days. Upton Sinclair calls to a Nevada workers. And that's something to do with the fact we're justifying on them. How is the war, the, what is it, the, the, what is it, the texas Oklahoma War, the Second River War, whatever, how's that going? It seems that Texas is holding on, but they've lost almost about an equal amount of men as the Jeffersonian League faction has, and that's the faction consisting of Oklahoma and Louisiana, who are trying to double-team Texas. Texas does have a large amount, they have a very large amount of land, so even if they lose some territory, they can probably push back the Jeffersonian League, maybe, or at least hold them back in a war of attrition, possibly. But it does seem that Oklahoma is making some gains in the Texas panhandle, and Louisiana is advancing into Arc La Texas, well, Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas territory up there, as well as the Piney Woods. They're advancing there. And that's what that war is like at this time. It is August 1936. Farmers Collective will be done by early September 1936, I think. And we'll get ready to have our war with Nevada very soon. Let's draw up a, let's stop exercising these guys now. Let's draw up a battle line have them ready and all of our units at this point all of our divisions are regular in terms of experience level and that's the best they can get from the exercise function we have and for our military high command let's get artillery for well artillery genius or whatever from Al albert jesse boley he's also our superior firepower theorist so he's going to be doing stuff with the military high command and he's also our special theorist which will give us like i've said in the past i think we'll have a well superior firepower doctrine stuff won't cost as much and our troops here are still ready to invade nevada whenever farmers collective is done let's do a more perfect union that will be complete and okay after that we'll do what can we do let me see we have a military branch in the focus tray i haven't really been doing much in let's do nationalized armed forces then we'll do maybe Cali Cadet Schools, possibly, or maybe we could do more political stuff. And if we look there, we can do a look across the aisle, do a debate on the segregation issue in military 
pupil partition, all that stuff. And yeah, we'll just get that done. We just need to political stuff and get it over with. Because once it's done, it's done. And that'll be it for the political part of our focus tree. And okay, so we have October 1936. We're still waiting to fight Nevada. How is things going on in Texas and Louisiana? It is going in favor of the Jeffersonian League. More of the Texas panhandle is falling to the Oklahomans. And Arc La Texas and Piney Woods is where Louisiana is gaining more ground for the cause of Huey Long. They are pushing hard down there. It is almost October. Well, it is October already in 1936. It's nearly November. That's what I meant to say. It is nearly November. And how's this justification doing? Okay, still a little while away, a few more months. Just, I'm, I can't hold back my anticipation for the war. And can we actually get a field marshal? We need to get somebody doing that. Let's promote, can we, yeah, we can't promote nobody. We don't have any more, we don't have enough command power. Let's do, look across the aisle now and the focus tree. Once that is done, we'll get 50 political power and plus 2% base stability, concentrated industry is done. And so is mechanical computing. And let's do support weapons now, we'll start that research tech and we'll also do weapons one we'll start infantry equipment one i mean so we'll do more military oriented technology research in our tech tree just so our soldiers will have an edge in a war we have 10 divisions i don't know how much nevada will have when we start this conflict and clash with them okay they have a lot smaller army than we do we should be able to overwhelm them easily i don't know how strong arizona will be but we should overwhelm them as well just with our population they may have a most Three divisions, yeah, three divisions. We'll probably end up going to war with them in mid-1937. I wanna say, maybe, that's just a estimate or a guess, but more of a guess, honestly. It all depends how much political power we have available at the time. Look across the aisle, is gonna be done in a little bit. It's only a 49 day long focus. And after that, we'll do, what well, we'll do, we're gonna do the debate on segregation and military debate on segregation that is going to be done and we'll do those event those focuses i think they come with events once they're completed yes they both do we'll get events from both of those focuses it is late december 1936 battle the war with nevada will start very soon research slot available let's do construction two and that tech has been started and in the focus tree let's do the debate right there and modify gun we're not going to mo modify anything at the time of record well uh, right now we're not going to modify nothing and we're done justifying on nevada let's declare war there we go sending all of our troops all of the troops of george patton's californian first army now we're going to justify on arizona and we're going to justify on then the conquer boulder our troops are marching into arizona well nevada they got to get through carson city in a short amount of time because frankly okay something happened in texas and louisiana the republic of texas and louisiana signed a white peace and did they even get anything out of that? It doesn't seem that they did at all. Louisiana, I mean, Oklahoma was making gains in a Texas panhandle, but it just did not pan out for them, I guess, so to speak. Did I make a pun there by accident? Oh, my goodness. So Carson City has been surrounded. The Dakota War has started. And what's this about? The Dakota War, the Federal Republic of North Dakota, declared war on South Dakota. Dakota. I guess they're going to decide which is the best Dakota, I reckon. Whoever wins will be the only, the only Dakota state left standing. And Carson City is surrounded by three divisions of California. Our Mountaineers are here to California Rangers. And so is two of our Minutemen divisions. Let's push in now with the California Rangers and the Gridley Mountain Men, the Minutemen division. And the Great Ohio River Flood has taken place in, well, Ohio, I think. Yeah, in Ohio, I'm pretty sure. Do they have a national spirit for that? Uh, maybe they do. No, but I do notice they have a very interesting national spirit called Mass Production. And it's all capitalized, so very fascinating stuff there. We have some air wings that aren't doing anything. I probably should use them for missions and send them into the Nevada Basin to give us close air support. We have 350 fighters and one air wing. That is crazy. But they should get air superiority very e easily because of that amount of fighters there. And now we've got to gain ground enough to take Pine, and that will be the end of the war. We're just fine in Arizona now. We'll be ready to go in mid-1937, like I originally thought. Nevada has fallen and we're going to take all those states. They're going to be added to the Socialist Republic of California's territory. And at this point, let's border Arizona and get set up for a conflict there. And we're going to march into Phoenix eventually. Patton falls ill, 
It's fine, he'll probably recover by the time our war with our war with Arizona starts. And in our and for our laws and government, let's do Californian war machine. I guess they have a special war economy law. Wow. That's I guess it's just call that. It could just be a special name for it. I'm not sure if it's any different from the war economy economy law you see usually in Hearts of Iron 4. We have low manpower, and we probably should get that mobilization law change from volunteer only. Separate but equal question in the California Senate for half a decade. Our newly founded country existed. We have opted to not make any conversation about the old federal law still in our books. We need to call into question, call into the questions of our previous countrymen and of the Constitution. No more shall men and women be separate but equal. We are all equal in the eyes of the constitutions of the Constitution, our forefathers, and the great bear flag of the Revolution. And that's going to be done. I guess we got a special event, a well, special version of this event because we have the communist in power, well, socialist in power in California. And let's do military debate on segregation now. And considering how normal segregation worked out in California, military segregation will most likely be gone, as well, I can practically guarantee it. And we have the two divisions of Arizona watching our army, and they'll probably be pretty powerless to do anything once the war begins. Support weapons one is done, and so is weapons one. Now let's get Maybe, do we have to get more artillery, get improved artillery, inner war artillery, whatever you want to call it. And let's get concentrated industry two started, outdated equipment in production, let's fix that. Weapons one will now replace basic infantry equipment. And we should be ready to go for this war in July 1937 very soon. And Arizona is led by Benjamin Baker Moir, whatever his name is. Might have mispronounced that, oh well. But Arizona will stand no chance, more than likely. Let's move our planes from the Nevada Basin airspace and send them to Arizona where they will do air superiority missions and close air support missions. Our tactical bombers will do will do close air support and our fighters will do air superiority. And up in Sinclair brings revolution to Arizona. Arise American workers. Arise, well Arizona workers. And the war is going to be ready to go very soon. Well, relatively speaking, we have a few months. And after Arizona, we may invade someone else. Well liberate them, whatever you want to call them, whatever rhetoric you'd want to, whatever term you want to use there. We could attack Oregon, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. How many units do they have? They have 5 to 18 divisions. I may not do that. I may just attack the Navajo Nation. I can live with that. Yeah, also, did I know, we have our Navy, but I didn't ever check if we have any special admirals. We have William H. Stanley and William Fetchteller as our starting admirals, and we got our Navy assigned with one admiral now, just so we have that done. And we're going to attack Arizona very soon. Can we start just fine on the Navajo Nation? No, we cannot. And the Navajo Nation is led by the Tribal Council and military segregation in question. During our time apart from the federal government, we follow laws that were popular with the majority. These weren't always the right thing to do. Hopefully now we can fix these issues as well as giving our military a more diverse and larger force. We must put our past behind us. We now have a rec higher recruitable population factor thanks to that event. And that national spirit is gone. We should get more manpower now. Modify Officer Corps. Let's do Spirit of the Academy. Let's do Bold Attack or no. Let's do maybe, doesn't really matter. Let's pick a Chief of the Army. Let's have Nacho Libre to be the Army Drill Leader. And we also have the Battle of the Overpass. That's taking place in Michigan. But in our Chief of the Army options, we have Nacho Libre, Moral, Moral under slash SCA, Cedric Heim, and Fred Jones. We don't need Fred Jones or Cedric Heim. Let's just get Nacho Libre to be our army commander, our chief of the army. And we're nearly, oh, the Memorial Day Massacre, that happened there. That's happening in, I think, Michigan, possibly. And we're done with our political part of the focus tree now. Let's do nationalized armed forces. We're going to attack Arizona very, very soon. I keep saying that, I think, but it's just, it's June now, June 1937, and we will strike in the 20th of, on the 20th of July. Research slot available. Let's do improved machine tools. That's going to be started, and we're going to move on to Arizona very soon. I keep saying I'm mean, repetitious, I know, but I just can't hold back my excitement for this war. And we have resistance to our occupation going on in Arizona, I mean in Nevada, and we're trying to deal with that. We have to have the manpower sorted out for that. But we have 43,000 manpower now, so it shouldn't be that big of an issue. In a focus tree, let's complete Cali Cadet Schools. That is started, that focus is started after that. We'll maybe do, which one is superior firepower? We'll do assign 
Bowling. It says, yes, yeah, sign Bowling. Albert Bowling, Albert Bowling served in various conflicts during the Federal era, most notably the Great War. Now we can utilize his experience with modern equipment to rely on guns, not men to win our battles. And he is sort of the superior firepower branch of the army part of the focus tree, as far as focuses go. And Cali Cadet schools will be done in about 50 days, slightly over 50 days as of me saying that. And we're going to attack Arizona in three days at this point. It's going by very fast. Two days now. Oh, great. Due to our negative political power, it's going down. That is unfortunate. Okay, let's just stop doing this for now. I'm not... Okay, no, we'll just keep doing Cali Cadet schools. We're not going to do any more focuses after this. Now let's do... In the tech tree, let's complete... What is it? Complete excavation two. We still got to wait for our political power to go back into the positive as long as it's negative. We can't complete our war goal justification on Arizona, which is a problem. Now our war will start in September, early September, and we're going to get to one political power very soon. Get back into the positive. Please, Socialist Republic of California, get back into the positive as far as political power goes. There we go. There we go. Almost minus zero. Now we're on normal zero. And so justification for, well, the war will start now on the 13th of September, 1937, which is a little way off of our initial hope of starting this conflict in mid to late July on 20th of July 1937. But it will start nonetheless. We're not going to do any focuses for now until that conflict begins. We are maybe just going to attack Arizona and that would be it. And Arizona should fall without any problems. So not, let's not do anything in the focus tree for now. Concentrated industry is done. Well, concentrated industry too. Now let's complete maybe, let's do fighter one. Why not? And where else do we need to, what else do we need to do? No focuses for now. We have something relating to our officer corps. Yes, we do. Let's get a spirit of the army. Let's get professional officer corps. No, ideological loyalty. We'll get out of that weekly manpower and encirclement penalty. Well, minus 20 encirclement penalty. Even though it might not be the best call. It might not, because we're not going to have to worry about encirclements. But the weekly manpower will be nice. And our battle with Arizona starts in just a few days, less than a week at this point. And how's our production doing? We have a lot of guns we've got to keep making. We also have a huge surplus of trains. Let's attack Arizona for Boulder, declare war, and march into Arizona with the Socialist Republic of California. The first Californian army, the, the Californian army, is going to start their battle plan now. And the offensive line is going to be sent out, and let's have this army execute their order, their battle plan in an aggressive manner. There they are. They're going to try and break through. Can you encircle this division, please? Don't even go around them. Just encircle them, then destroy them. And that's going to happen with our three divisions fighting against this one Arizona division, who unfortunately has been surrounded, the Fox Trot Division of Arizona there. And they are holding us back just a tiny bit in other places in the, what is it, west of Phoenix. We're going to go past them, possibly. Can we maybe, maybe encircle them? We will try to do that, try to pull that off. Supply is a bit of an issue there. But it's not going to matter too much because we're overwhelming the defenses of Arizona's military. Encircle these troops, get that over with, get it done. And improved machine tools is complete. Modify Office Corps, research slot available. Research slot, let's do advanced machine tools because why not? And our war is going on still. Another Arizona division has been deployed. We'll deal with them. March on Flagstaff in this conflict. And can you get the encirclement done? Okay, they're done. They, let's conquer all of Arizona take all the states and that is it i'm going to stop the video here this has been the socialist republic of california in the hearts of iron four mod and north america divided you can check out north america divided in the video description the link to the mod is there if you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe have an awesome day i'll see y'all later